you know, where do you where do you begin and where do you end um, on this one? Um, you know, first of all, the players um, they've been through a lot this year. Uh, it's uh, it's been a bit of a grind, and uh, the league is so competitive. Teams play so hard, so physically, and um, man, I mean, this team's been through some real adversity. Um, but continue to get up off the mat and compete and buy into a scouting report and um, you know just did a, just just an incredible job. I'm um, and so I'm so happy for the players. So happy for Wendell, you know, to have bounced back after a couple of tough outings. Um, you know, Jay Will's just been a rock. Um, seven assists, no turnovers, and eight rebounds. I mean, just. What you know? What an incredible, you know, you know, senior night it was for him. And hope this is not the last time we see him. Um, you know, Al was really, really good and did a lot of things. You know, so happy for Al, proud of him. And uh, again, hope those guys get back. Um, w part of the reason we won the game was because Tennessee didn't score a field goal in the last six minutes, and we finally. We finally guarded at the end of the game. And Zepp Jasper had a lot to do with it. Um, you know, Zepp stayed in there and did an unbelievable job on Viscovi. Um, it was interesting because, um, you know, you think you'd put a, you know, Wendell on him because of the size factor. And, and hey, Wendell went in there and guarded Phillips and, you know, and, and, you know put, a, put my smallest guy on a 6'8 guy. And, um, you know, we held him without a field goal for six minutes. That's why we won the game. Um, our staff, again, I, I talked about the job that Wes Flanagan did with, with Chad Pruitt uh, for that for that uh, Alabama game. You know, to put 77 or 79 on Tennessee, man, it's hard to do against a Rick Barnes coach team. They're so solid defensively, so physical. Stephen Pearl had a great game plan. Um, and – I got you know you guys for those of you that come to practice and watch me on a bench. You know Mike Burgermaster is the offensive coordinator for this program. There is no such thing as an offensive coordinator in basketball, but there is at Auburn. And um, you know Stephen, Mike, and myself, you know we worked hard to develop this game plan offensively, um, dealing with the best defense in the country, <laughs> hold people to 56 points. Um, Field goal percentage defense at 35%, 25% from three. And, um, you know, to be able to get eight threes and shoot at the percentage and, you know, to be able to shoot 55% in the second half, and it's good stuff. You know, Janai is a factor down in there, low, and, and, and you know, he's a real factor in, there, in, in the game. And, you know, Wendell was obviously, you know, terrific scoring. So it's a great, a great win. I, last thing I know, you guys have no questions. 20 wins matters. 20 wins matters. It's only been to happen. I think this is the fourth time it's happened. I think it's the fifth time maybe in the last six years. I'm not sure. Man. We care about making history. We do. And so this team made history. Um, now heading into postseason, I told our guys, I said, look, one team wins the league. One team, and that's Alabama. They went. The other 13 didn't. Then the rest of it is about tournament. It's all about tournament play now. It's about, about postseason now. What kind of seed can you get? What kind of position can you put yourself in to be advanced in postseason play? That's that's where we're at right now. You know, one of the things I told our guys is before the game is they should be confident. I asked them, I said, do you guys feel prepared? And they answered, yeah. I said, well, then you should be confident. You know, we can go to play the, you know, the number one seed overall seed, maybe, you know, maybe not, or certainly one seed in Alabama. And, I'll, you know, and, and I'll, you know, I'll play them for a lot of part of the game. Should give you confidence. Um, I don't think it's so much our confidence as it's just a little joy. 
<laughs> a little celebration, a little happiness. Um, I think they're, they're. I think you know. Um, they've just been. It's one thing for an old coach to grind. Old old people know how to grind. Kids don't know how to grind. Think about kids. Think about your kids. Think about young. They don't grind. I don't necessarily grind like my grandfather did. My grandfather knew how to grind. These kids have been pretty good grinding now. Well, I think I think the one area that Tennessee will point to where they miss Ziegler the most will be on the defensive end. His speed, his quickness, his ball pressure, his ability to make plays. I think that'll be one thing. I thought that I thought that um, you know we 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 did the things that we needed to do against their size with some of their switching. They they switched some of our ball screen stuff. We rolled Janai and Jalen down in there. We got them some deep touches. It was. It was. It was. It made some of the stuff that we did just made sense. You know, we had to also anticipate how Tennessee would guard, being really big, and um, and we were able to get some. We were able to get some good action. How big a deal was it to you guys to uh, have success like that uh, in a sixteen game? Well, some of that probably came from our defense turning some of our defense in in offense. Um, it was good. It was good. Um, when you play against a team that is this, the number one defense, you might want to think about scoring before they get back, you know. I don't know that it helps us that much. I think the, the only lesson would simply be, for me, is they didn't score a field goal in the last six minutes. Everybody wants to focus on the last shot or, man, we played, we, we scored enough at West Virginia or at Alabama or, you know, we didn't score enough at Tennessee, but a lot of places to win the games. We just didn't get stops. That's it, period. You want to win? Get stops. Yeah, I mean, I I told him to be aggressive, you know, um, and 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 don't 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 necessarily change. To keep aggressive before the game. Um, at the same time, Wendell understands what I'm talking about about you know what affects winning, attitude, effort, energy, and and doing it on both ends of the floor. So I'm glad that I'm glad he was able to, re, re, you know, recover, and um, um, you know, play play as well as he did. Well, Don, they just – they can dominate you, just dominate you and get a great, great energy. And, you know, I thought our guys physically hung in there. You know, against a really, a really physical team. Um, so it was good to see – you know, it was good to see Yo out there. He was physical, flying around in front of the post. And, um, you know, again, the bench, they don't show as much – you know, didn't show up as much in the stat sheet um, in this game. Um, but it was a great team effort. And it was it was it was and, and look, it was an important it was an important win for us. We played the toughest schedule in the league, having to play Tennessee, Alabama, A and M twice, and at Kentucky. So and then probably even, where's Vandy seated? Five, at Vandy. You know what? Every 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 matchup's different, you know. So we'll look at whoever we're playing, and we'll we'll see what their strengths are, and we'll go at their weaknesses based on our personnel. So, um, a good offensive performance, you know, doesn't necessarily translate into the next game, uh, because everybody's so different. Everyone's so different. I mean, it'll give our guys a little bit of confidence and feel good. They should, 
feel good about their looks and making making shots. And, you know, with the fact that we made 12 threes at Alabama, eight threes, the fact that we our assist turnover ratio, 18 and six in this game, huge. And this team has been one of the best at taking care of the ball that I've had. I've had some pretty good teams. This is one of the best at taking care of the basketball, valuing possessions. You know, we not well. If we not if we if we didn't win the game, it have been it have been pretty def- again deflating and 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 and, and exhausting. Um, and certainly, I think about our fans and I think about our our, our students. Um, how many students hung around and didn't go on spring break until tonight? You guys, Godspeed. Put a hedge of protection out over you as you travel on spring break. All of our students. Um, that doesn't happen everywhere. I am truly grateful. And then, you know, having lost the last five Saturdays, I think, you easily, with Tennessee coming in, easily could have been a, a great, it's gorgeous outside right now. Easily could have had a, 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 not a very good turnout. Place was full. Place was loud. It was, I thought today was as loud as I've heard it. And so, just, we are so grateful and and um, our fans got rewarded. That was the number 12th ranked team in the country. That's three years in a row now we beat number 12. We beat Missouri during a COVID year. Shreve Cooper group. And then last year, I think, um, who came in 12? Kentucky. Kentucky came in 12. And now, now Tennessee. I think the combination of, of, of having Zepp out there and putting him on Vescovi and then the confidence in, in Wendell Green to not get physically mismatched against Julian Phillips. He fronted him, had a turnover. He's given up almost a foot. But that was a decision that we made uh, because, because we knew Wendell would you know, be, do what he had to do. And, and I wanted Zepp on Vescovi, our best, our best perimeter defender. Thanks, guys. Huh?